Daddy's back. I have voices in my head. Alright, I have a question. Well, a couple of questions. Is a wrestler's theme song, is it an important part of the packaging of a wrestler? Or is it just a song for the sake of a song? Because when you think about certain wrestlers, right? If you think, if you think about a guy like Triple H, when you think about a guy like Ric Flair, when you think about like Shawn Michaels, when you think about uh, Bret Hart, when you think about uh, Bobby Roode or Shinsuke Nakamura, when you think about certain characters, right? Their theme song helps to paint a picture in the audience's mind of who that wrestler is. But recently with Def Rebel, um, as of the, uh, the 2024 WrestleMania 40 Royal Rumble, uh, it's become really apparent just how generic wrestling themes have become. And I'm not sure if it's um, on the company that they've contracted side or if it's on the side of the WWE higher ups not wanting to uh, create more stars or they wanting they only like will change theme songs when certain storylines become activated as it's because here's the thing right um the only things that were like separating the theme songs from what I can gather is if you know what producer tags are in music, producer tags like, you know what DJ Kali would say, we're the best music, another one, something like that. That's pretty much the only thing that was kind of separating them, making them seem uh, uh, like, like they represented different people. Because um, the only differences that were like between the generic themes were like, some wrestlers would like say the names or spell out their names and some wrestlers would um, like say certain things related to the character as like an uh, intro to their songs and because of how generic they were it didn't really help it just kind of made it more apparent just how bad wrestling themes have become so Again, I want to ask, is this intentional, as in, are they doing this on purpose, like, is it on the, the deaf rebel side, or is it on the orders of WWE, because, you know, I doubt that they would sign off on certain songs if they didn't really choose that this is what they wanted certain wrestlers to do, so I think it's WWE that's kind of doing it, but why? So I say it could be storyline reasons or they just don't want to kind of unlock certain stars until you know they're ready to push certain storylines but it kind of does a disservice because you never know um, when certain people are watching and what they will connect with as a you know song because when you think about even like a guy like Kofi Kingston when he was in his SOS era the boom 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 even how much, how much years now later still you know was impactful enough that I you know remember it um, but I guess we'll see how it <laughs> eventually goes because right now Death Rebel is being named to Oblivion I'm not sure if it's their fault but I guess we'll see if, if in this new Triple H era if anything changes or if it remains the status quo to give everybody generic themes. Um, you know, it is typical for wrestlers to start out with a generic theme, you know. But right now, to it just feels like everybody has that same boilerplate template working with. It kind of doesn't really add much value to the wrestler or the person viewing these wrestlers. Anyways, done your thing, I guess.